Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And I'm Tyler. Together we make up Cobre, a couple who loves to play board games. We sure do. Today we'll be doing a playthrough of Roman Roll's new expansion, Roman Roll Gladiators. Yeah. <laughs> now this project is live on Kickstarter right now, so if this game interests you and if you saw the game played and said, hey, that's pretty fun, you should definitely check out the link below. Exactly. And look at the whole project as a whole. Yeah, yeah. So we'll give you a, a brief background about the game for those mm -hmm. of you who haven't necessarily played Roman Roll before. Um, and then we'll get Ilya to walk through a couple of the mechanics that are prevalent in this game, as well as I will give a brief overview of the new mechanics and the new things that they've introduced in the expansion. Just a few brief overviews. Yes, real quick. <laughs> uh, so, uh, in general, Roman Roll is this game where you're uh, you take the role as a of a character, and you're trying to win over the right hand of the current king of Rome, Nero. And you'll do that through basically competing to build buildings, to gain resources, to do all these cool things that Ilya will talk about eventually. Um, and yeah, that's, that's really it. It's funny you said in general, <laughs> and there's lots of generals here vying for that victory. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, let's give you a quick overview of just how to play some simple mechanics, but I'm sure you'll see all of it once we get into the game. So here's the game. We, essentially, this is the city of Rome where you'll be building, but what's really, really nice is this game does come with these little player paths that are asymmetrical. So every character is slightly different and they have different advisors and a different kind of ways that they should be going to win, although you can't challenge yourself and try to do something different. Yes. Now, I really like this because it tells you how the final scoring will work, because a person with the most victory points at the end wins, and it basically lists all the possible ways you can get points. So, on a typical turn, what you'll do is you'll roll with six dice, and then you will select, you'll draft them. So, mm -hmm. going, I'll pick one, Tyler picks two, and then I'll pick the last one. And if there's more players, they'll kind of go there and back. Then based on the dice that you draft, you'll be taking various actions and free actions on your turn. So you'll choose a dice, you'll look at the symbols on that dice, uh, potentially record some of the, st store some of the resources, but you'll go according to these actions. You'll construct building buildings in the main portion, main part of Rome. You'll raise legions, basically getting your army strength up. You'll conquer, so going to various territories and getting different settlements. You'll expand by building those little roads. Uh, you'll tax by getting resources from the settlements. And you'll trade by trading your resources to get points. Money. And essentially the points are the coins here, buildings, the pathways that you build, and the glory that you get from uh, obtaining settlements. Yeah. Other than that, you have advisors that you will look into. And the game ends when all the near cards are gone and those you can collect once you reach the, the blue numbers on your player boards. Mm -hmm. But then I'll let Tyler talk about all the, all the fun expansion yeah. stuff that is included and there's quite a lot in it. Yeah, yeah, they introduced quite a bit in the expansion and I'll start with, um, I'll start with the extra Nero cards. So they've introduced um, at the end of the game scoring mm -hmm. um, two cards and then they've also introduced a first person to do X card. So this one's um, specific to the new um, building archetype that they introduced, which leads me to segue into that. Um, they introduced what's called gladiatorial blueprints, and they are an additional building that you can also build. Um, same thing, you just spend those resources over here to get certain things, and then um, whether or not you're producing or um, raising legions, you'll get extra things when you have them as well as because they're gladiatorial buildings, they also provide gladiators, uh, which leads to the next thing in the expansion, the Colosseum. So you'll notice that there's a, an additional sideboard here that they've added, and it incorporates um, basically a game of tic-tac-toe uh, with circles and Xs, and you compete to see who's victorious. Uh, They've also introduced a new resource called iron, and you'll notice that we put an I here, but um, they all have resources that they're associated with, all the settlements, so this one's with iron. Uh, and what iron can do is 
a few different things. It leads into some of the buildings, um, or some of the building actions, sorry. Uh, you can use them in this special character that they introduce in the expansion, which I'll get to in a minute. New character. Yeah! And then the other thing you can use them for is if you're interested in conquering, or... Oh, just conquering. You can use the iron and transform them into auxiliaries, which is the mm -hmm. basically an addition to your combat strength. Um, yeah, so I guess that, that kind of leads me to the next part, which is the, the, the character that they introduced. Mm -hmm. um, this fella's name is Rudiarius, uh, and basically he's a retired gladiator, so he fits the theme really well, and I find that to be a lot of fun. Um, and he utilizes a lot of the things that were introduced to the game with this expansion. Uh, he's got some special advisors that really help him with iron, and uh, yeah, you'll see that through the gameplay. The other last thing I guess I would mention is that they've introduced what's called public advisors. Now, every character has their own advisors here, but these public advisors are special in that everybody gets to use them. But when you do use them, you pay the resource on the bottom here, and you fill in points that you would have scored. So this one, for example, you gain two points for each available senator you have. So if I wanted to score this, I would pay a fish, and then I would write two times the number of senators that I have. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think that's really all they introduced. They did introduce a few extra, a few different buildings, some more god cards, um, and these are flippable. So they've got um, six different public advisors. Variability. Love it. Yes. The yeah. one last thing that you forgot to mention too was the neutral, is it foreman or overseer? I always get those two mixed up. This is the foreman. So the neutral foreman. So once we roll this new black die, we'll get to move the foreman the number that the die has. And if there is one already there, I'll just flip it over. So basically mm -hmm. occupy spaces uh, for the game. Yeah, and I think that's because they introduced two new cards that are on the board because in the regular game there's only eight. Mm -hmm. um, but in this version, there's 10. Mm -hmm. um, which also, I guess, leads to the point of this fancy little black dice mm -hmm. die. <laughs> uh, so, like Ilya said, we'll roll this to move the neutral uh, token, but we'll also use this to place gladiators, which I think is best shown when it happens. Yeah. Yes. Pen drop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that gives a good sense of the game. We played it a few times now and quite enjoyed it, um, and we'll just we'll just get right into it. Um, yeah. Before we do get started, I want to note that the everything in the game or the expansion material in the game is in prototype version, mm -hmm. so things may change. So keep an eye on the Kickstarter and our description below if there are any rule changes or those kind of perspectives. We also may make some rule mistakes or forget some pieces. There's a lot of moving parts in this game, yes. so we'll make sure we're help each other and we're very on it but if you do see something that does not look great to you leave a comment down below and we'll make sure to put that in the description and keep our hopefully small list of mistakes yes <laughs> yeah yeah call us out <laughs> okay well let's dive right in um you go first i sure do so for the initial setup you'll see that i already do have a settlement because of my character and i do have a warrior already stationed there and I already scored a one. Ah, I'm just ahead of the game already. Wow. And we set up, obviously, for a two-player game. Mm -hmm. um, there would be more dice with more players. Well, let's see what happens. One. Oh, the best one to so start we'll off move with. The new, because this is this is a rule we kept forgetting, so I'm yeah. going to say it out loud now. <laughs> move <laughs> We're going to keep moving it. So, okay, one. So every time we build this round, we get to place a gladiator in the Colosseum, and that's pretty yes. strong in the first round. So. I would say so. Um, I think what I am going to do is take this double wood and Ooh. a build. So I get to take two, so I'll take these two. And, you know, I'll... Continue taking the build Risky because build. building would probably be nice. <laughs> so I would get to go first and you know what I'm going to do. I am going to build a Ludus, a new gladiatorial type building. Yeah. So I'm going to place it right here and I'm going to make it into an X. So now I'll place my overseer. Uh, yes, overseer, yeah. And then <laughs> foreman in here. 
And then when I get to build a building, I have to move on to trigger its lightning effects, which in this case, I get to assign the matched to the gladiatorial. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna assign my X right here, which grants me a warrior. And I also built a building, so I will oh, underline God. a building. But because I build a building, I also get to place another. Another one. Can you believe that? You know what I'm going to do? I am going to take the two fishies. Mm. And what I'm going to do with those two fish is I am going to use them to bribe. Nice. So this is a good time to note that now that Ilya has done, placed two gladiators onto the Colosseum, that's it. He can't place any more, even if he was able to unlock more. Mm -hmm. And that's just a rule for a turn rule. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other thing I'd point out is that he placed an X here, but he could have placed an O here using this particular dice. Mm -hmm. So I used one wood, which I'm just going to use one here, and the other wood I'll store in my storage. Wow. And I think I covered everything. Nice. All right. I will... I'll just do this one. Or wait, no, no. I will also build. Um, but I think I'm going to build a temple. So I'll put my person right here. And the temple is one of the new cards as well. It can only be built on a marshland. So what I'll do is I have to spend two brick and I have a brick right here and a brick right here, which means my wood will just carry into this. Um, I'll draw my temple actually right next to you. Ah, oh, going for that senator's route, I yeah. see. Yeah, so this is temple. So you put a TE here for short. Um, I'll move into it. And now I have to, uh, I moved my foreman, I get to tr score a point. I'm really bad at remembering to score this point. Um, so then I do the electric ability or the immediate ability and I gain one coin or one iron. Now I'm gonna gain an iron and then I gain a senate um, if it's built next to one opponent's building. But in addition to that, get to trigger. I trigger Ilya's building, which means he gets to build uh, or put in uh, a symbol or an X actually. It has and you to know, be an X. I think I'm just gonna just gonna take the victory. Just gonna take the first victory. Nice. So the one thing I don't think we mentioned yet is this is actually another way for the game to end. If you complete all five, the, if this victories happen five times, then the game ends as well. Um, this is obviously going a little fast. Primarily, actually, you get to place yours first because you built. I get to place it first? Yeah, because it's your oh, turn. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, so then I will block, block him, because I don't want that victory to happen. So I get How an iron. unfortunate. Good catch on my part there, though. Um, so now it is my, so what could I do? You know, I could place it in the middle, but I'm gonna actually place it right here to get the two brick. Wow. Really going for the reason? Oh, because you want to build next turn. I sure do. Okay. So, uh, your turn. I'm, that's that's me. Okay. And you, did you move your person? Yeah, he's on the temple. Okay. Um, I will build again. So I'm not going to use my two stones. I'm going to write them down right away. Stone, stone. And then I am going to build. I think I'm going to build a stables. Uh, you can't, because the neutral one is there. The neutral one is there. You are correct. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to build a training ground. <laughs> so I'm going to build the training ground right here. For another Senate. Amazing. Well, well, not another one. One for me. Because you don't get one if I build next to you. No, yeah. Um, so then I get to... It costs two wood and one brick. So I'm going to... Cross off this wood, cross off this brick, and then cross off this wood. Two wood, one brick. Um, now I get to move my person over here. I use this dice. I'm moving this person over here. Now I get to activate the adjacent. Because I built, I get to activate the adjacent action. And I also get to activate mine. So I'm first going to claim this coin. Wow. Um, right here for that extra point. And then I am going to end and get that actually no why would i do that that's silly of me i'm gonna put over the iron so i get an iron yeah silly, silly. okay 
Um, but because you built next to my building, I also get to trigger mine. Yes. So I can pay an iron, a fish, or a jewel to gain um, one of the gods. One fav- of the god favors, and I will do that. One of those one of the building. So let's underline that. Um. And I think what I'll do is I'll grab Mars. Oh, that's my favorite one. Hooray, Mars. So I'm just gonna leave that right there. Um, and that's uh, that's all I can do. So, are you done? I am now done, I think. Okay, so this yes. is a good stopping point. Yeah. What happens is because X won, we put X into the victory, and then Anybody who put an X down gets one coin per color of that X. So Ilya will get five coins. Five points, woohoo! Which is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Um, I don't get any though. But it is my turn, and my turn will be pretty quick. All I'm gonna do is use these two baskets to bribe Blandis. Oh, Blandis. Hooray! Okay, so that's round one over. Now it's round two, which means I get to go. Mm-hmm. Four. Wow. One, two, three, four. Because we're responsible and gonna remember the we're black. Gonna guy. remember. Hmm, what do I want this time around, hey? I think I will take this one. Oh wait. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. I am going to take this one. And... See, this is where it always gets... I think I'm going to take this one. The resources are strong. Resources does seem good. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I'll take the stone one here. Or maybe I'll take this one, actually. Okay, awesome. So I'll go first, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I have two pieces of wood. Um, And then if I conquer... But I don't have any army people, so that's no good. Let's see. Maybe it's my turn to build a... Uh, I'm going to build something, I guess. But can I build the arena? Probably not, right? Probably not. Wait. Wood, wood, brick, brick, and stone. Wood, wood, brick, brick, and stone. Oh, I'd have to use this one. Yes. Okay, well, I'll use this one. So, Blandis, um, when I bribed him, he allows me to use, or they allow me to use iron to con- to, as any resource to construct or expand. So I will do that. I will do this. I'll use the stone that's on there, and I'll lose all cross of your out all of my resources. Going big. Bold. Um, then I get to place my um, arena. So the arena is shaped like a U. And I think I'm actually just gonna place it right here. So I'm gonna move your person right here. Yes, thank you. Okay, so A, R, arena, okay. So you move your overseer. Then I move my overseer, and then I can optionally build a- Oh, score your um, building. Oh, right, okay, I should probably do stuff. Okay, so then the um, immediate ability is all players may construct a ludus. For um, me, it would be free because I built it, and then for Ilya, he would have to pay. So um, I'll do that. I don't have a wood. Oh, but I can't do that without um... sand. Oh, you don't have. You can't do it. No. Okay, so I'll build mine right here. Mm-hmm. Getting into the hill territory, I see. I'll draw an O. And I will take, um... So while Ty's doing that, I'll take a moment to mention that if he wanted to draw an X, he would have to pay an additional... Well, I guess his is free. But now, if anyone wants to build a Ludus that is an X, you have to pay an additional fish because the Ludus has 1-1. So you have to pay whatever you want. The X has 1-1. Yes, the X has 1-1. So you pay whatever... You pay a wood and a fish for every time that X or O has 1. Mm-hmm. So exactly. it gets tougher down the road. Yeah. yeah, and then the other thing that is worth noting is they've made a rule to accommodate um, buildings and productions. So because the arena allows me to build immediately a ludus, um, the rules now state that you can't activate a production um, 
ability of a building that was built this turn. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. I have this um, temple activated, but I don't really want any of the uh, God's favors. That sounds okay. Think. Actually, you know what? No, I will pay one iron to get Vulcan. Wow. All right. Oh, and then I also get another building because of the holy oh, moly hooray me okay that's my turn I ended okay. up being much longer than I so i'm struggling because a part of me wants resources to do things with but a part of me also wants to raise legions and get ready to fight nice oh yeah because you have the training crafts now. but you built the arena which does not have any hmm so see the stables would have been really nice the stables would have been really nice. You know, I think- Why don't you just build the stables? Well, I, I can't because I don't have- oh, yeah, Actually, boy. I could. You know, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna build the stables by pay using yourself. my senator. Smart. So then I have two wooden and a brick, so all I'm gonna have to do is <clears> pay <throat> another brick. And then I am going to build my stables on this hill. Wow. Awesome. Stables. So I'm gonna move my human here. Move this here. I get to score building. Now I get immediate, which is I get an iron. And now I get to activate the ability. Oops. <laughs> activate the ability of the training ground, which is gain a, a soldier. A soldier. Nice. And then, da 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 da. I think that is it, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Got this. Got this. Yep. I think that is it. Right. I'm content with that turn. Okay, well, I will just keep a wood and then build a, um, a Ludus, because I can build an O Ludus. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to move on to here. Yes. But that doesn't matter, because I'm going to move back here. Uh, or I don't have a fish, so I can't move an extra one. And then I'll place it right here. Oh, okay. So then... I assigned an O to it. I get to place an O here, which means I will place an O right here. Make sure you mark your building down first. Oh yes, okay. So I'll get the building and then I'll mark down the iron that I just picked up. And then I trigger my arena, which allows me to assign a um, gladiator of my choice. And which gladiator. means I will put a circle right here to gain the two fish and I think what I'll do there is immediately um, use those fish to um, scratch off when bribing a public advisor, I gain a senator. I did forget to get a jewel when I went built there. So I'm gonna do the right now and I should use that to bribe. I think that's it, because all I could do here is do spend the iron and I don't really want Pluto, I don't think. And that's okay. But you did build a Ludus, uh, so yes, I'm can you here. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I believe it is now my turn. Mm -hmm. So I am going to conquer. Yes. Conquer! So conquer, I don't actually need any symbols, but there is a jewel here. So what I'll do is I'll... Um, oh. No, it's too late. Uh, I always think of these smart moves after it's way too late to backtrack. So yeah, I want to put I my jewel that. here. So I actually have an auxiliary here. Mm -hmm. So I can, that's plus one. I also am, um, the, the symbol doesn't really matter, but I have two warriors plus one and I could optionally use my iron to convert it into power. Mm -hmm. And what am I going to do in terms of that? I think I'm actually, uh, so I'm going to do that with one of them. So I'm going to use one of my iron. So I'm going to have a battle of four. And I am gonna enter in here and do, well, I guess I'll, I guess I'm circling it in now. <laughs> one, two. It's hard to see the things though. I shouldn't have Wait, done does that. Does that only have one? That has one and two, so Erase I guess. Erase these, make them X's. Yes, I will make these. them X's, I'm sorry. X, X. So then I get to take one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Glory. Correct. And. Don't forget to cross off your Yes, warriors. so I have to. Assign them. Assign them, them. Allocate them in those two posts. Mm -hmm. Which you know, it's okay. They can awesome. stay there. That's great. Okay. Uh, and that you is... also get to place a gladiator. I do because I did that. So 
I am going to place my gladiator. I guess right here, because I don't want you to have it quite yet. So I'm <laughs> going to get a coin. Awesome. Okay, that's the end of the round. Perfect. All right, round three. You're first. I am first. Let's do this. Lucky dice. Two. Two for this one. One and the two. Build one, hey? Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we got some builds. Got a basket. Whew. I like this wood one. I'm gonna take that. Because I need wood. Hmm. When taxing, game three. I think I just have, can I use two god? No, I can only use one god at a yes, time. Yes, one yes. god per turn. Yeah, okay. So I will take, I'm gonna take the hand on this one, but do I take this one or this one? Hmm. I'm gonna take this guy. Hooray, so which one were you going to take? Tricky, uh, tricky. Ooh. Oops. Did you change your mind? Uh, Too late. Yeah. I'm taking this. Yeah, that's the one I was gonna take. Okay, so I am going to go first. And you know, I think it is time for me to build. Wow, is that because you get to place a thing? It is exactly <laughs> to, so I can place. Um, now, which one is most beneficial to me? Oh, I do want to build that, but I actually don't have enough to do that one. Um, let me build. Oh, this is tough. I did not think this through. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually build a Ludus, I think. Spicy. A circle one? Yes, because I can't build because I don't have a fish. Oh. So I'm gonna use this to build, so I, I save my one wood, and I'm gonna build a circle right here. Wow. So, wow. because I built there, I get one jewel, which I'll use to bribe right here. Amazing. And I also get a warrior. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, I get to move my person there. Mm -hmm. I get to move... That's uh, me. That's, oh, that's me. you, so I actually oh, can't, can't do, that. do that. Oh no. Alright, take it back. Uh oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess instead, I don't even know what I'm gonna do now. Oh no. My plan was so well devised. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't have got this wood either. I guess what I'll do, can I conquer anymore? I probably can, let's, let's try to conquer something. Yeah, let's conquer. So I'm gonna conquer again using this one. So I'll use my jewel to go here. I'll use my, yeah, I'll use my jewel to go here. To, so I'll have one, Oh, I don't have that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am so sorry. Okay. I need to figure this out. Um, <laughs> 10 hours later. 10 hours later. So you can build a smelter, but I don't want a smelter. I guess while you're doing that, I can think about what I'm going to do. Yes, you definitely could. <sighs> well, you know what? Let's go full on military then. I am going to build another training ground. I see. Because there's no limit to the training grounds that I can have. You get points for training grounds as well. Oh. I guess I get access Hold on. Them. I don't want to build it there. I want to build it here. To straddle this hill so I can get some bonus things. Training ground. So I will move my person here. Oh, because it's part of your... Oh. Move my person here. That seems good. Then I built a training ground, which does not give me any bonuses right away, but I do get to circle that I built a building. And because I built it in that green space, I get to get a jewel, which I'll use here. And then I'll get a warrior. So then I get to activate the bonuses of that building or the production of the adjacent so that it stables, which I'll get another coin. Gain a coin. And I do believe Oh, and because I built, I get to sign a gladiator. Mm -hmm. And the gladiator I'll sign is, I will sign uh, X right here to get another warrior. Because I am a warrior. Warrior! And I do believe that's it. Cool. Okay. 
we moved this twice, or did we not? Uh, yeah, we did. We did. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, it was on the cast. All right. I guess my turn to build. So, I will build. Debating whether or not I want to build a Ludus. I think I could get away with building another one. What do you get if you gain a another warrior? Oh, I have to spend this. I don't perk. know if that's worth it. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna go right here and build another Ludus. Just Ludusing it up. Yeah, and I'm gonna make it an O as well, so I only spend a wood, which I spent right here. Okay. And then I get to place a Z an O for building. Or I get to place for building. Are you gonna finish off uh, a row? I can't actually finish, so I'm gonna grab. Yeah, you could. Well, I could, but. Wait, where? Okay. You can just make a line here. Oh here. yeah, because I get to pick two. two. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll put an O rate. Oh, I built it in the wrong spot. That's okay. Um, hmm. I think I want this to end. So I'll build one right here, and then I'll build one right here. So you get two so brick get two there? brick. Then you trigger the adjacent actions. Yes, yeah. Which is my temple. Yeah, Can you build if your character's on it before? Oh. Oh yeah, I can't do that. Oh my goodness. We can't do this. Okay, <laughs> erase that. Erase that. Erase my building. I forgot I was on the Ludus already. Okay. Um, just, just we're just we're just uh, you know, <laughs> cruising along. This is what the questions are helpful for. Okay. Did you cross off a W there uh, or no? No you didn't. No, I used the wood here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well then, maybe I what won't do gonna, that. I'll move you back here. Yes. Just yeah. so you remember. Oh no, what do I do now? Well, I know exactly what I'm going to do. So if you want to pass your turn, you definitely can. I think actually what I'll do is I will... Um, it's because I really wanted a senator, that's what it was. Are you going to do some briberies? Yeah, so I'm going to bribe this public advisor um, here, I think. Mm -hmm. To gain, um, I gain two per every second house or building I've built. So mm -hmm. that means I would gain four, and then I'll pay a basket, um, crossing this off, and then I gain four points. And what are you going to do with your other and basket? And then my other basket, um, oh, oh, because I bribed a public advisor, I gain one, which means... Um, you use that fish to get another... I'm debating whether or not I just do this public advisor again. You could. Yeah. Yes, okay, I'll do this one by using the other basket I have and gain another four. Awesome. Points. What I am going to do is I am going to raise legions. Jealous. So I'm going to use the... Uh, oh, I can use my senators to... Oh, I'm supposed to get another one. To cross that off. But then I'll raise legions so I can activate up to three... Uh, this... Uh, um, Blue ability up to three of army buildings. And if I use Tyler's, then he gets a coin. But I have three of my very own. So I think I'm just gonna activate those. So I am going to, you know, I could activate the Ludus, but I don't want to. I'm gonna activate my two training grounds, which get me a uh, warrior each. Dang. And then I will spend one iron. Dang. To get two more warriors and a coin. I think I'm going to lose. I think I'm ready for battle. Alright, um, then I guess I get to use this guy, this mm -hmm. fella. Um, now I wonder if I should build. But what do I build? Can I build a stable? Wood, brick, wood, iron? I could. Oh, but then I gain Ilya a bunch of stuff by building it there. Hmm. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. So I'll build a stable here. Fun. Um, which means I use my, this and this. And I'm just running on no resources at all, which is okay. probably not the best. Um, so I'm moving plan. you to the Can stable. You move me to stables. Yeah. You gotta move that one. So then I immediately get the a building point. 
I get a senator because I'm building next to an opponent's building. And then I also get an iron from the uh, sta building the stables immediately. And then I can activate my O and my I um, temple. Do this one first. Do this one first? Okay. Yeah. So, so I'll just do it. How many am I going to get? Well, you can only build two. Right. I can only build two. So I'll build it up here. Basically end up doing the exact same thing I did when I messed up. But we're allowed to do this. Do <laughs> um, I have to cross off that iron? No, it was that iron. Oh. I got an iron for building the stables. Yes. So then after I activate, um, after my stable happens, I'll activate the um, oh. Ludus, which activates an O, which I'll put right here, Ooh. which ends the Colosseum battle. And then temple? And then um, the temple I'm just not going to use okay. because I have God favors already. So now I'm going to use my training ground and my stables as well, but my stables actually don't have an iron, so they are useless to me. But my training ground does give me another warrior. Yeah, I'm just giving him some warriors. This is not good for I'm me. I'm just ready to go to battle. Okay, so that's the end of... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That's the end of my turn, which means this comes to an end, mm -hmm. which I'll put a circle right here. I get one, two, three, four, five coins, and Ilya gets none. None. But now I get to roll because it's now my turn. What are you talking about? It's my turn. Oh, it is your turn. <laughs> You're right. Uh, this is why we have the card. <laughs> oh, I thought I was convinced it was my turn. Oh. All right, how many so are we So we moved four. So it goes one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, the darn temple. All right, and whenever we conquer, hey? Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. Holy moly, what do I take? I know the one I want. Um, I'll do this one. And then let Ilya go. I'll take these two. Wow. So do I need resources or do I want to do this? Oh, actually, you know what? I want to do this. Okay, let's see what happens. I get to go first, right? You sure do. Uh -huh. Okay, so I think I'll use this fellow, this dice, mm -hmm. die, to um, raise legions, um, activating three army buildings, up to three army buildings. Activate so mine? I'll activate... Um, I don't think I will because I don't have iron. But you can use my training ground to get yourself a warrior. But then you get a coin. But I guess that's actually kind of worth it because I'm trying to go and um, battle now. Okay, well I'll activate this O and my st my one stable, mm -hmm. my stable for sure. Um, and then I think maybe I'll actually just activate um, my other stable because then I'll play Mars. You mean your other Ludus? My other Ludus, yeah. Because yeah. then I'll play Mars, and then I get plus two when raising legions. So you get three total? So I get... Oh um, no, because you get two So I that spend one. an iron. Let's do this right. Mm -hmm. I'll use my stable, so I'll spend an iron to get two soldiers and a coin. And you get two more. And then I get two more for using Mars. And then I get to place two O's on this board. So I think what I'll do is I'll place an O on the fish and an O on this iron. But I'll keep the iron in here and actually use the fish to do this one. Some bribery. Some breebings. Okay. All right, that's my turn. So I am ready. I am gonna go conquer. But before I go conquer, I'm actually gonna use this jewel to bribe this person. So when I take a conquer Combos. action, I gain the region's resource. And then I get a basket, which I'm going to decide what that is. I'm, it's going to be a wood. It's going to be a wood. It's decided. But now I get to go conquer. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people to go conquer with. Wow. And what I'm going to do there is go here and go here. So then I get five glory. And I circled my first blue. Which, which means, oh, I didn't take my first arena one. Well, no, you did not. You get this though, which is much I will keep that here. <laughs> my good old. Well, I'll put this one down here. Okay. So that's. Are you done? Uh, yes. Okay. So I am. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't have to use this build action. I can conquer instead. You can conquer without oh, did any you place symbols. A person? No, I did not. Place so the I get gladiator. to place a per gladiator. First. Okay. 
Uh, where I'm going to place my glass. Oh, and I have to assign two people. Yes. Because that's what I forgot. Ah. And then I will assign my gladiator here. Awesome. Okay. Oh, and I get a. Who's my plan? I think I just underlined this coin preemptively, but if I didn't and I lose by one point, we know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so my turn. Uh, I will use. Um, the fish here to actually just um, go here. So I'll get the four points um, at the end of the game. And then what I'll do is I'm not going to use this um, hammer. I'm actually going to conquer, um, which means I'll store this wood as well. So when I conquer, I have uh, one, two, three, four, plus um, potentially two because of Vulcan. Um, well, what do I want to do? Rick, I think I kind of want to keep this iron train going, but I can't get, I don't have six here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I do have six. Okay, that's what I'll do. Okay, so um, I'll use Vulcan. So when conquering, I can use iron to get auxiliary conversion doubled. So that just means I get two for every iron instead of one. Okay. While so, you do that, because I forgot that I conquered these, I also get two wood. You conquer? Oh, because you get that. Because, because that's your bonus. ability. Okay. Which I definitely should not have used the basket for wood because now I'm also getting more wood. So now I'm just nice overflowing so, with wood. I'll cross off the iron and then I get two, four banners. One, two, three, four. The glory. I have to get rid of two soldiers. Sad. But then I get to place a thing because I conquered. What will you do? I will get a um, another warrior. soldier. Yeah. And it's my turn. Um. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna expand. So I'm gonna save the two wood. So now I have officially have five wood. And I'm gonna use my two stone. Two. I messed up a little bit here, but that's okay. So to go here and here. And because I built two, I get one, two, three, and an additional two, so that's five. Amazing. And then I do believe, oh, and I do, because I connect this at least for the first time, I get two more. Points. So much wood! <laughs> Holy moly. Um, All right, that's uh, the end of the round. So now it is my turn. All right, roll the dice. <laughs> roll I the dice. Will. Lucky roll, lucky roll. Well, I'll move it four. Okay. Move the neutral one, two, one, four. three, four. The brick maker. Well, you know what? I'm not the biggest fan, but I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> nice. Build brick. Um, oh wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! Sorry, I thought that was stone. There's no. Oh, there's only one there's stone. There's one stone right here, and I don't like that. No, I'll, I'll do this one. Okay, so whenever I draft a red dice, I get an iron. So I'll take that one, and then I get to take another one. So I will... Hmm. Oh, I know which one I want now. Let's hope you don't take it from me. I figured out the secret. What's the other one I want? Ooh, ouch. Oh okay. yeah. Well, now that I have so much wood, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna trade it. Smart. And because um, I can use the jewelry to trade as a wild, so I'm gonna use that with two wood. Wait, is that how that works? Oh, and I don't know, I don't have the hand, no. It also only works on um, jewelry. If it's all, no, if, because jewelry is a wild. So if I have a hand, I, if I use the wild, then. But, um, I don't think I want to, do I still want to trade? So many choices. You know, yes, I still want to trade. I'm going for it. Um, I'm going to trade three wood. One, two, three, one, oh, yeah, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And then all players, including me, get to trigger a uh, gear ability of their building. So what I'm going to trigger is... 
Mm -hmm. I guess what can I trigger? I'm gonna actually trigger, I'm gonna assign a matching human. Matching human? Yes. What do you mean? So I'm gonna trigger a Ludus. Oh. My X Ludus. So I'm gonna put an X right here to get an iron. Wow. Hmm. Well, I think what I will do is I will also trigger my O Ludus to put one right here to get an iron. Interesting. So I use this one. I did not. I will put my jewel. I will use my jewelry to. I think bribe the public advisor. What's the top one? Gain one per region with at least one of your roads, and one per each region with at least one of your settlements. So how would I gain three? Three. Yeah. I'm gonna do that for the jewel. Okay. The, you have to write it because it's your color. Three. A little messy three, but that's okay. So that's what I used my jewel for. I did not use this symbol. And now it's your turn. Awesome. I will, um, I guess this jewel here will, um, this jewel here will be used for bribing. I'll just bribe right here. Um, and then I'll conquer, I believe. So I have one here and then two, three, four which is perfect for what I want to do. Um, so I'll go one, two, three, four. So then I place two there. Wow. Um, I, get, I get three more banners. And then um, what else happens when you conquer? That's it, right? That's it. Okay, but then um, because I conquered, I get to place a circle or I get to place a gladiator. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna end this one. <sighs> make an O. Another five. Hooray. Okay. okay, so that's the end of my turn. So that means this ends. Mm -hmm. So that means O wins. Which um, one did you use? This one. Okay. O wins. Um, and I get five more coins. I two, think that three, I, four. so I'm ah. stuck between two choices, but I think I'm going to do what I initially want to do is I'm going to build. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a market. So I need a wood and a brick. Build a market. So then I'm going to place my person here and build the market right... Oh, because he gets points for developing his land. Here. So then I get a jewel, which I'm actually going to use to bribe here to get zero points, to block you from getting it, because you have a lot of senators over there. Mm -hmm. And then I get, uh, I get a warrior as well, because I built in that area. Then, where am I? Step by step. So I'd move there, move there. Underline because I, that I got a building. Now I get to do, you know, it is a mar market, market. And now I get to activate the training grounds, which grants me another warrior. I'm just flooding here, warriors. Wow, amazing. Okay, so my turn. Wait, am I done? I think so, you just, it's a fast round. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I am done. Okay, so I will use this fish here to bribe the, for public advisor. Mm -hmm. So I get eight points. Uh, See, that's what I was scared of. Yeah. So that gets rid of this fish. I'll keep the stone and then I'll raise legions. So I can activate up to three. I will activate my stable for one iron to gain, what do I gain again? A coin and two soldiers. I will then activate, um, why not? I will activate your stables and gain, pay an iron to get two more soldiers and a coin. Then Ilya gets a coin because I used his yep, building. Got that. I will then activate this O to place it onto the board. Right here to get these fish, but instead of, um, instead of using or storing those fish, I'm just gonna use them right here. Smart. And that is that is round. round. Now it's your turn. Bow, bow, bow. Oh. Dice off the table. All right. Whenever we build, so we move two. One, two. Okay. I think I'm going to take this red one. Oh, this is not favorable to me so at all. So because I drafted a red die, I get to. 
get an iron. This is does no, not happy. Not happy. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this one. And then uh, this one, I guess. Hmm. I what really want I stone do, because hey? Yeah, stone is pretty good. Actually no, I have I have this. I got this. I have this. I think what I'll do is get this one. Okay, go for it. Okay. Well, I'll use this. Mm -hmm. Um and my jewel I will you crossed it off, and I can't even use jewels to um, bribe like that. That's actually really hard to do. Now that the I'm seeing jewels. it, yeah. Well, I think the way you probably do it is uh, up here. here if here I circle one there, here, yeah. and then I could. Okay. And here, so I'm gonna ways. conquer first. Okay. Um, I have Conquering one, two, seven. three, four, five, six, and then seven. Okay. So cross yes. That so I'll cross this off, cross my eye off. You get five. And then I get five. Which so means you get I a get Nero card. Three, four, five. Which means I get this Nero card. And then um, I have to cross off one of my soldiers. I also, there's something else that I needed to do, right? Um, oh, I also, because I was, because I conquered, I get to assign a gladiator, which is perfect, because I'll circle this. And because I haven't used the jewel yet, I will use the jewel to get this one, which means I get another eight points. Oh my goodness. Well, okay, would you use the red? Uh, yes, I think that's all I'm doing. Okay. I think that's all I can do. I am building. Okay. I'm building a Ludus right here oh, for nice. a fish and a wood to get another X. Nice. So I'll move here, move my person to Ludus, underline a building. Because I built a building, I get to claim something, and I am going to claim a coin. Um, so I'll underline that. Now, then I am going to use the adjacent ability of the training ground, which gets me another army person, and then uh, the market, which gets me two stone. Wow. And then I do believe that is it. Nice. Okay. Then I'm going to, I think, conquer again. Right? Yeah, because I'll go one and then two. Because I, I can just use soldiers, right? Mm hmm Three, four. Mm. But I only need one more banner. So what I'll do is I'll go into here. Okay. And then I get one more banner, and then I have to cross off a soldier. And because I conquered, conquered, I get to place a gladiator, which means I will place a gladiator onto this iron piece, I believe. No, this iron piece. I see. To potentially get another victory. We'll see about that. Awesome, that's my turn. So your turn? I am going to See, I can't really, I can't, I guess I could build because I have the, our, the, um, this symbol. But I, you know what I'm going to do is I'm instead going to also con, no, I don't want to conquer. What do I want to do? I want to build roads. Yes, roads. Oh, is, you have two stone. I also need stone. I'm going to build roads. Oh, no, I cannot because I don't have the symbol. Ah. Well, you know what I'm going to oh, do? Yeah, true. Instead, you can spend, oh, you don't have a symbol. I'm going to spend a jewel here. And I'm going to trade in my three wood to claim one two three so i can get oh, you're trading card. Uh, this one so yeah. that means so we then, get to activate so we get to activate so i am going to activate first and i'm going to activate an x and go here to block you to get two brick oh no but you didn't really block me oh okay maybe i don't want to do that because you're gonna probably win that I shouldn't have said anything. no you shouldn't have said anything you're right um instead i'm gonna get Two more stone from this person. I goofed. I shouldn't have said anything. But I can still just take it anyways. Mm -hmm. So I probably will. 
probably um, smart. Yeah, but I more think, points for you at the end. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll actually just take the soldier. Wait, will I take the soldier? Because I get points for soldiers, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I take a soldier, and then I win this one. Ooh, Put actually, no down. Um, this is gonna be because you're done, right? Mm -hmm. So now um, I get this card actually. Because um. Because what? Oh. What? No, you don't. No, I don't. Oh my goodness, I'm going crazy. Oh yes, I do. Because I get coins. I get Why four get coins. Because oh. the gladiator. So then this is our last round. Then. So then, yeah, because I took this, now that's empty. So we only get to play one more round. Sounds good. Oh, I have to erase your X. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Final round. All right. Um, so it's your turn. It is my turn. Oh, this is going to be a close game. This is going to be a close game. I'm excited. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> okay, four. Okay. So we're going one, two, three, four. And you pick first. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm going to take it. Well, actually, I, I'm going to take it so you can't have it. I don't need it, but. Oh, but I'll just take the red dice to get an iron. Mm-hmm. And then what else can I get done to this turn? Hmm. Hmm. I know what I'm gonna take. Tricky, it. tricky. Take I'll it. take this one. That's what I was gonna take. The um, amount of times I've just looked right into the camera and been like, I did that. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter what I take here. I'm gonna take this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go first and I'm gonna build some roads. Build in some roads. So I'm expanding using these two stone and then one more from here to go one, two, three. And now that actually, I could just build roads here, connecting your settlements. But then I'll just connect your settlements. No, it's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with you this. You still got a lot there. Uh, six, eight, uh, 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is my first turn. Okay, I will do a very similar thing because I have this thing. So you're gonna use that so symbol? I'll use that symbol to go build some roads? Go build some roads. But if I can build one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you five. can use your iron as mm. a stone. One, two, three, four. No! But what's the four? Huh? Because I actually have one stone and then the basket. Oh. But I think I want to keep an iron. Right? Oh, but I get iron from this, don't I? Oh, oh I would have as well. Because I, for the two settlements, so I get two wood. Okay. okay well, that's because what I connected roads, I get to place one here. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to place it here. I think I can only do four, though. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, um, I'll use all the resources that I have and that one to build four roads, which is one, um, two, oh, either way it's the same way. Three, four. That was a terrible so that line. Was one, two, one, two three. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nice. Just draw a huge line. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. And that's your turn? Uh, that is my turn. Do I? Oh! When taking a conquer or expand action, I assign a gladiator. And then I also get to assign another one. Wow. Okay, so I was supposed to get four iron. And then I'll assign a gladiator to get... Um... It's a really high scoring game. Yeah, this is going to be uh, it's gonna be a good one. Okay, um, they'll, I'll get an iron to use here. So I get eight points. <gasps> I've, I've been messing up. I just realized I haven't been, every time I bribe, I'm supposed to get more, oh, yeah. but. So you can put 10 and 12. I'll allow it. Okay. I'll okay. be nice. So it's my turn. 12 and, oh, this should be 10. This should be 12. Yeah. Okay. So I should, yeah, I should, cause I should have six. Ooh, I have a good turn coming okay. ahead. So I'm going oh, I get to place one more. Sorry. Um, because of this. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got excited. I will take the fish. Wait. 
Now I'll just take the iron. I okay. Iron. So I am going to conquer. <gasps> and I have a really exciting trick. I'm going to use the wood wood brick here so I don't forget. Not that I don't think it matters that much. So I'm going to conquer here and here because I have exactly eight. So I'm going to sign those eight there. So I get two jewelry. So I'm going to put a jewelry here and here. Wow. That's I also smart. get. Oh, that's how I got the jewelry. Never mind. Um, and I think, and I, so I got one, two, three, four. So that maxes out my glory. Wow, this is going to be an intense one. My no, turn, right? Turn. What, what's your last turn? Okay, let's see how I get all the points. Uh, what are you going to do? I think I have to build, but like, I don't think any of the buildings necessarily get me points, right? Yeah. So it's not, I don't know if it's worth it for me to build. Although, if I move and pay a fish, so if I go like this, mm -hmm. that's my free move, I can pay this fish mm -hmm. to do this one. Mm -hmm. And then I can build a... Um, a lotus, you say? Yeah, I can, because I can use iron as any resource when I'm constructing. So I'll build a lotus. Wait, are you building an X? So um, I need two iron. Two iron? Yeah, that's fine. I have five okay. left. Okay. So I'll build one here, but either I think I will build an X because it's just cheaper. Okay. Um, so I'll use the wood from here so and Arena, so I do I use two iron? Assign. No, I use one yep. fish, right? Two iron. Two? Because you need to wood oh, and an iron. Wood here. Oh, okay. Iron. Right. Yep. Okay. And uh, then I'll cross off with six building and then I get to place assign two one. of these. Well, one for now. One for now. I have an X and then whatever you want. Mm hmm. Is this one worth me doing? It is, right? Because I get three points. I guess. Because then I'll cross this X off to get one here, which means I get another one of these. Um, so I get three from here because I get, get one three? from here oh, and then have having here. roads and then I have one right yeah. there. Um, and then I have an extra fish, which, um, sure, I'll put it right here. Okay. Uh, and then Put I will to cross another one off, because of AR. Yeah. The arena. The arena. So I'll just do. Well, it's not even really worth it for me, hey? Um, like, not to help you, but you can cross off the iron to just put yeah, it up there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I can also put it right here. Because I think this one gives me more. Yeah, it gives you six. Yeah. So I'm going to cross off this one. So helpful. All right. We that did is it. game end. Now, all we have to do is count up the scores. Scoring. Final scoring. Let's do it. Okay. So should we, let's, let's just go down the track and go alternate. Yeah, okay. So okay. coins, I got 18. I got 17. Okay. Uh, buildings. So most of these buildings actually did not score. So did you build a smelter? I did not. Uh, you did build a temple. Yeah, so I get two for that. So you minus one for every adjacent temple. So yeah, you get two. And my training ground, I get one per adjacent army building except other training grounds. So I, it is next to a stable, so I get one. Awesome. Two for oh, that. sorry. This is the building's track. We, uh, we oh, made this right. mistake Oh, right. You're right. Yeah, so we I did get this six. last time. Okay, I also get six. So I'm going to put... I will, we'll get there again. So okay. legacy now. So legacy is the roads. So mm. I got 15. Wow. I only got nine. And then glory, I got 13. Oh, me too. So then um, from advisors, you got a lot got here. a lot from advisors. Here. So I got... Um, 4, 8, 12, eight. 16, 22, mm -hmm. 25, oh, got three there. 35, 47, 55. Probably should have spent some time there. That might be my defeat there, but <laughs> let, let's see what happens. <laughs> Manufacturing, we have nothing. None. So I think the only one I have is a training, is the army. None. So I get one. And I get two from the religious buildings. And then none from the Nero region. cards, I have 11. Ooh. Oh, and I oh we have to have give bonus. those ones away. Let's look at these. So awarded so, at the end of the game to the owner of the most ludi from the school with the most wins. That is you. Yay. The most 13. ludi adjacent to, the, the owner of the most buildings adjacent to ludi, not including ludi buildings. So mine are one, two, Three, four. Mine are one, two, three. So three. So I got that one. So that's another three for me. Okay, so I got 13 there. Oh, 14. 
And then one for every... You've got a lot here, don't you? Not really. One for every two. Ah, uh, okay. So and I get five. Zero. And then... And then we tally up the total. Zero. For the senators. Uh, you round up. Oh, you do round up. Right. All right, now we get to math. Who will become victorious? I don't think I won. <laughs> I think that messed me up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so 30, um, 39, 45, 50, 100, and 6, 111, 124. I got 124. I got 85. Woo! No! See, last time we played this, the public advisors, we put them here. So I kind of forgot about them. I should have probably invested more, and I did win last time. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, crushed me last time. Well, no, it was really close. It was like oh, three, three points. points. You're right. Yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. Close. But that is Roman Roll Gladiators. Mm -hmm. We really like this game. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We've played the base game as well. I think, really like the base um, game. The base game is really great, but this particular expansion, I think it introduced a lot of um, mm -hmm. things that uh, I felt balanced the game a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and the scores seem like they're a little bit higher, though. They are. I will say that. I do. I do think what we did here is we actually threw in as much yes. expansion content. Like we yeah. literally put in every because there was a new blueprint for each type of blueprint, so we threw mm -hmm. in all of them. We threw in the two gods that came. We threw in as much expansion content as possible. So yeah. I think later on it'll be more fun to integrate, kind of do a more of a balanced approach. Yes. But we really yeah. wanted to show you the different yeah. aspects that come with the game. Exactly. And I think like even to that point, it really does, because we've set the board up like this, it really does cater to this character. Yeah. Um, uh, so. Mm -hmm. But it's not, but not, not completely. Cause I know no. like for no, me, no. like iron really helps because my character is more of that. Yes. Like I, I should go conquer. So it does really help me. Yeah. So it, if I build buildings, so I think next time if I would have played, I would have probably built a bit a more bit iron buildings and tried yeah. to get more iron. Uh, cause I missed out on a lot of points, even scoring some of the roads and that kind of piece. Cause I wasn't getting the stone early on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think now that we've played with the expansion, I don't think we will be playing it without the expansion. Yeah. I particularly like this character. Um, I'm a big fan of like when you bribe the public advisors, you get more senates. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I'm not very aggressive when it comes to like conquering things. Um, I usually only do it when I like know for sure that I can. Manage. I also really like the neutral form in there. Yeah. It's definitely a good way. Especially for especially, two players. Yeah. Especially with two mm -hmm. players. And even, I think it's actually better with more players. Yeah. Yeah. Lemon but, options makes you think more strategically. Yeah. But that is Roman Roll! Gladiators! If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe. Let us know in the comments down below. If you actually know of another game that integrates the tic-tac-toe mechanism into it, do let us know and let mm -hmm. it, so we can kind of look into that because I think that's something that's really clever here. Yes. Also, do check out the Kickstarter project. It is live and there will be a link right at the top in our description right there. At the bottom, right at the bottom. Oh, at the bottom, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where Below this video, yeah. Um, the other thing too is, let us know if you've played Roman Roll and if you're looking forward to the expansion, um, if you've backed it already. Um, yeah, uh, we're really excited about uh, being a part of this Kickstarter. Yeah, we have been really loving Roland Rights lately, so this was a pleasure to jump into. Yes. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.